Hi guys, you must have an old Nerf gun. Like for instance, this is my old Raider. You probably use it a couple thousand times. But what can you do? You need something new. You need something more exciting. So now I'm going to show you my little idea. Hopefully can get you inspired of making your own modification. It's a simple modification. Just need a hot glue several construction what you call this steel it's not steel yeah. iron and then some spare you uh, some spare nerf parts for example i got this too this is from my old retaliator i painted black at that time and also i got this for a chip I recently bought this for about 50 cents. It's an old retaliator, which is in blue, similar to this one. This one was white, therefore I painted black, right? We're going to modify this a little bit to compensate the weight, since there will be some slight weight adjustment up front with this barrel. As you can see, this is not a Nerf tactical attachment, so. We cannot really put them together. That's for that's where the hot glue came in. So let's see. Eh? Hopefully this will get you inspired. So first of all, it's the hot glue. You need to hot glue this right there. Simple. Did you get it wrong? Yeah, you get it there. Yeah, simple one. If you can get a rail, that will be nice also. I don't have it right now. You can like compensate this between this and this put a rail otherwise i'm just simply gonna hot glue this hopefully this works fine let's see right hot gluing commencing right let's put it with camera there yeah hot glue is very handy you can use it for about everything right that's it Make sure the barrel is aligned. This one I'm gonna do it a little bit off camera. Check. Alright, hot gluing done. It looks something like this. Let it rest for a couple of minutes. What the rest is. and we're going to modify this with some weight compensation. I already Open all the screws, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and don't forget this one. I was full this one, I thought it was all gone, but it was still there, one. Okay, help, it make me lose some time there. Okay, so, just after that, just open it up. So, after you open it up, two sides like this, what I'll do is, I already cut about five centimeter of this i got three pieces of it i'm going to put it right about there in between one two you can see it right one two and the other one will be will go there this hopefully will compensate a couple of gram maybe yeah to compensate the back because if you see it's so much plastic up front this will help compensate a bit so you get a feel of balance in your blaster okay so simple procedure you just put it there the hot glue again good thing about hot glue you can just apply it on almost any surface right simple application hot glue put it there also and lastly this baby over here put it about there right and then to get oops should be around here somewhere in the middle yeah well more or less and then to compensate again place some hot glue around the iron itself should hold it be good enough. Ah, I'm running out of hot glue. Be right back.
right i'm back with a new hot glue refill oh hang on i forgot to put back the clip on right okay hot glue filling aha right you continue this just to apply it in between apply generously all right oops this one doesn't go all the way in you can use super glue though i don't use it at this moment i have it but i'm saving it for another project simply applying hot glue or over the material all right here hope you can see it well all right that should keep things together all right i think that's good enough all right okay while it lasts I have this one, it's a little bit longer, that one is around 7 cm. I'm not going to put it there, but I'm going to put it here. If you notice, Nerf has this one bullet hole, not, not bullet, sorry, one foam, right? Usually you can store a foam there, but since this is a clip system, you will not be in, this will not be any use of you, to you, so, oh. Now it's stuck. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hole, not with a foam dart, but with this piece of iron. I'm going to put it there so it gives some weight again at the back. Right. Simple, same application with the hot glue again. All over the place. Right. Simple hot glue application. Hot glue is something that you can like take it out again if you want to, if you change your mind in the future if you're using super glue or crazy glue no well, it's there forever until the blaster broke at least oh well, this way I can easily apply it I need to put this there all right just to make sure no sharp edges in case my hand or my son's hand accidentally touch it but that's the hot glue itself right so no sharp edges there okay back to your hole okay so that's done and this one's done also now we'll cover up the blaster and show you how it looks right be right back Right guys, now the three place part is there. Weight compensation is there. Oh, some how do you smudges take it out? This one goes here. Right, so your blaster, your modified blaster is complete. It has a brand new look. Longer barrel. Well again, nerfs longer barrel longer barrel means like less accurate. Nerf is not accurate, but longer barrel might affect your performance a little bit i have not changed any spring or any internal of this i just make simple easy cheap modification to give to your old blaster a new look you like it okay now you can use any clip i have here my 15 mac 15 yeah 15 uh worker yeah f f5 10 10 or something i forgot well this just goes here, right? Oops, that one fell down. That's it. Yeah, looks nice. I'll show you firing. Right, guys. You seen it firing? Nothing much changed. This is again cheap, simple, easy. 10 minutes modification to your old blaster hope you like it do tell me if you have any idea so i can make similar modification 
looking forward to modify my Mega Magnus right now it's a handgun I will modify that a bit do subscribe and expect that one to be uploaded within maybe next week thanks for seeing love you guys